last night we uh we went on a little bit of a a deep dive into cave diving. We watched uh I watched a video about the nutty putty cave diver. Do you guys hear about nutty putty or no. nutter butter? What's it called? It was nutter man butter. who died who died in a she, these these insane people who for fun go into caves. I'm not talking about how cavern or or like whatever you can walk through. It's drippy. It's like this big of a hole and like they like, want to go in there. They're crawling yeah. through, literally going into places called the birth canal, shimmying through. It's like tight the whole way. They have to shimmy and pull their way through like for a, a long distance. There's people who do this for fun, go in caves where they're like, you you might die and this is fun Chris, for Chrissy, them. never ever ever watch the movie the descent it fucked me up for, is it about nutty putty it's about i'll tell you the asian girl in the group wants them she tells them that everybody's explored this cave before but they haven't and then they, she wanted to like name it with them and like nobody had ever been in there before and they're all like in these tiny crevices and whatever and then all of a sudden they're just like creepy creatures down there they all die in the end i i, I and yes. it's horrible yes all of them pretty much except for one but it's terrible this, we watched a movie all about because i've seen this image before but to watch this video, oh my God, this man and this, this, I'm Didn't sorry, they this, just, like, effing seal him up in the moron, cage? this effing moron, he had a one year old and his wife was pregnant and he thought, and this was the day before Thanksgiving. He's like, oh, let me oh, go God. in head first in, into a cave. That sounds like a good idea right before Thanksgiving. And this is so, this is so selfish. It is. It, it, it really it is. is. How Why would you do is such your a life thing? That you need to go shimmying through a cave like a, some sort of feral cat. What the hell's wrong? A with diagram you? of how John Jones was stuck for twenty-seven hours in a cave before passing away. Seven hours, and in the video they talk about like, and, and the, like six people tried to rescue this dumbass. Like the, he's like, like I just really want to go in this cave. It's not a cave at that point. And You're this was going an, into a rock. This was Go an away. uncharted section of the cave. So he, he mm -hmm. got lost. And instead of turning around or trying to go back up, he thought, oh, let me keep going. It'll get better. I'll find a place to turn around. And so this is part of the uncharted. Uh, it's actually it's fascinating, but I get really angry. Like, it's also horrific, like hearing about how this guy died because the human body is not made to be upside down so eventually it got like harder and harder for him to breathe and they they and and shout out to the rescue crew these six people that tried to rescue his dumb ass they kept tying rope around his legs and pulling it up pulling him up but at a certain part like he couldn't this oh and also this this man guess how big this man was think about like you know you're you're a cave diver you're someone who likes to do this shit you would think you'd be a small person right to get in this into this sort of he's hobby. probably six two he's yeah. six foot tall 200 200 pounds what an idiot i would say if you're a tiny a tiny man a tiny thin man sure have fun in caves all you want. Although I think the moment you get married and have kids, it's get the hell out of the damn cave. If but you have people that love you like children or a wife, do not go mm -hmm. out in the middle of the ocean for no reason. Do not dive into a rock for no reason. <laughs> I do not know what you're trying to prove, but this is selfish. This mm -hmm. is, ex this is extremely fucking selfish. He has children. His yeah, he had a one-year-old and a pregnant wife at the time. How did your dad Jeez. die? Oh, he he, you know, sat yeah. in a rock upside down for forty-eight hours because he mm -hmm. was an idiot. It's selfish. Oh my god! Is he the one that they ended up just like sealing up the cave around yes. him? Yeah, there's a few of those around the U.S. I mean, around the world too. I'm sure. But oh, I'm gonna bring this other one up. I'm gonna bring if it up. having like, a child is most of like, them are in yeah. Utah. <laughs> if having a child and like a family isn't like exciting enough for you, 
We don't need to dive into rocks. And I get it. You want to get Sometimes you want to get away from the old uh, ball and chain. I almost said bag of rocks. I don't think bag of rocks is, is slang for a wife. You want to get away from the old ball and chain. Okay. I get it. You want to let off some steam. Maybe you're tired of we had one too many dirty diapers. One too many baby screams. Literally do meth. Do meth instead. I was about to say, like, have a margarita, but meth even. No, meth like, if, it, if it's that right. or, like, go diving headfirst in the cave that you probably won't come out of, go do meth. Like, no, do something honestly, else. No, honestly, Lauren, you're Literally right. Literally anything would else. Be better. Meth would be better for this man than so than fucking. All, again, and now this is a whole team of people uh, the day before and the day of Thanksgiving trying to rescue this dumbass. Uh, and this was a picture from, like, one of the rescuers who tried to come get him. I guess this... Might have been the guy's legs. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is me and the legs of the paramedic in the passage leading down to where John is trapped. Okay, so maybe these are two people. Well, that don't ruin Thanksgiving for okay. sure. There are two people that are trying to help him. And this is how close the quarters are. You literally, you're crawling through the whole thing on your belly. Uh, yikes. And gadzooks. Like, this guy's like, gee, I wish I was home basting a turkey instead i am trying to pull out a dumbass from a cave because he just needed to do that great yeah and yeah, uh, the there's a whole weird thing where people want to name the caverns oh it's like, really grow up grow up okay like yeah, you the, don't know what names, you're doing the, this is the names of all the sections of the the crack the big room the maze the big slide the birth canal. Okay, so this is where uh, yeah. he was trying to go to the birth canal, and then he went somewhere off to the side here. Oh my god, that would I God, I am so claustrophobic. I would never I in my life. Ugh, and it's all. And you know what, you dumbass, you're not exploring shit. As long, as, so, as soon as one person has done has been in the cave, guess what? It's been explored. Okay, you're not. You're not yeah. going anywhere that people haven't gone before, unless you go into that section and he, and then that's where you died. Congrats! But like, you're not I'm, exploring anything. People have been there, so like, what is the? I guess they must get some sort of sick thrill out of it. It's fucked. I don't like it. He had children, and then they had to figure. Where would your dad die? Because he was in a crevice that he wanted yeah. to explore, and then a they bunch of people. Had to go and drag him out of it. That's awful. His poor family. His poor fucking family. Yeah. That's like, awful. So un what a stupid, unnecessary death. Yeah. Oh, hang and on. Someone's they... knocking on my door. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. I hope it's not Anderson Cooper. It could be. Ugh. And then they had to stay. Had to, they sealed it up. Okay, that was smart because you know you don't want some other person to be like, oh, he, other he moron. can't even get the body out of there. So they're like, it's probably gonna, like, gonna let other people hike around while it's decomposing down there. I really and, hate that we have to like save people from themselves, but like it should be known. Why don't you don't let's not dive into rocks. We don't, you know, we don't really stupid. need to do that. Like it's what been you, explored. It's like okay. if you like rocks, go rock climbing. That is fun okay Go, yeah uh, open spaces I, I you know I, if you have no if you have no friends no family no children dive on right. into them okay right that, have I, instead of paying you know thousands of dollars to switzerland you go and they'll unalive you how about go cave diving go do that go die you know, that you know what then yeah exactly jump out of a plane if you want to just yeah. it, it, this seems it, it, what a tragic way. Say, to is, fuck it, is it my wrong to say people who do this sort of thing like they actually want to die? They have a death wish. They're like, I am not that thrilled with the wife, and I don't have the balls to break up with her. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cave dive the day before Thanksgiving. I get like I could even get I as much as I would never skydive, right? I used to be adventurous. I won't even do really roller coasters anymore because I know I'll be the one that has my legs chopped off or something, right? But but I get open spaces, something like that. Diving or like going into some weird crevice where you're there for 27 hours hours until you die. That's just mental illness. Yeah, I mean, and it's not even a death to, wish. 
I don't know. They were trying to make uh, them, I guess, the wife or the family feel better. They're like, oh, well, he survived 27 hours, which is the longest anyone has survived in a cave like that. Like That's some sort of, like, consolation prize. Yeah, no. God, that's the worst thing. What a horrible way to die. And, like, and there were people trying to save him, but because of he lost the strength to push himself out, they couldn't and they even debated breaking his legs to get him out there's a documentary about this mm-hmm. i know well, I, have- I don't know if it's a documentary but i think it's just a youtube video that we watched last night and i was now like, i have to watch it this is why you're you have to watch it that's what you watch that- while you're going to bed yeah i don't know it's why nice. i think i told friends Girl. on it i'm like what's nutty putty sounds fun i'm like isn't that yeah. the isn't that something we used to press on newspaper Back mm. in the day. <laughs> I think that's silly putty. Uh, but like one day he'll be a fossil right. though. You know? That's true. Yes. So yeah, a be- fossil that somebody can excavate and then be like, ha, dumbass. You died mm-hmm. upside down, like Stupid. unnecessarily, like an idiot. <sighs> Lord, who a was at the door? Foot, a freaking six foot tall man has no business uh crawling around in inside fucking cave holes no so many like if lila dove around in a bunch of caves i would understand she'd be fine. Like, yeah she's small she would know and she'd be like yeah i found my way in <laughs> now and i was fine you know but like a six foot tall man with children i'm so disgusted and that's horrible and i'm i don't feel bad that he's dead i feel bad for his family <laughs> I when did that happen was it like i recent? think 2009 Oh, okay. So not recently. I'm just hip to it now. Well, Actual like, footage of the birth canal. Ooh. It's about the oh, birth canal God. and consulted the map for its location. It was known to be a long, tight passage with a particularly tight squeeze near the end. Oh, my God. Is fun to you guys? This is like a good part, time. There would be a small room at the yeah. end to stand up and turn around. They knew that the birth canal would be tight and could be panic-inducing. Oh, even for experienced tight. cavers. They it looks like you're in an asshole. This, this looks like you, you, you're like a gerbil in Anderson Cooper's asshole. Moving through Cooper's a small asshole. tunnel for around 15 feet. <laughs> Lemmy winks. It undulated up and down in several elevations over the next 10 feet. There were outcroppings of rocks and tight squeezes that oh, required an a caver to twist their body in several orientations to so get shoulders past. It's not even like it's a clear hole. There's rocks and shit and in, in, uh, obstructions in this thing. What is exciting about this? Jumping out of a plane, you're like, wee, adrenaline. This is, I'm just going to crawl what through if, this. What if the light, light on your head things? goes out? There's so much that can go wrong. Like, literally, the best case scenario of this is that you're slithering around in a cave asshole. Like, that's right. the best case scenario. And that's and really then I not guess that you good. make it out. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like, like I've ooh. kind of, I've never felt the most black than I do when talking about this subject. Like, you know no, how no. black people are like, why do white people go skydiving? Why do white people do dangerous things? Why do white people like go surfing and shit and go snowboarding? Uh, that's how I feel about this cave diving. Like, it's mm-hmm. like, we're like, no, don't go in there. I'm like, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> why are you do- no, don't run it. Don't go in that cave, please. What are you doing in that cave? It's claustrophobic and shit. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I, I did, yeah. And finally, twisting legs so that they bend in the proper direction. Oh, Torsion. yes. This is what I watched. After the corkscrew. Uh, like, <laughs> the best case scenario of this is still really shitty. Yeah. You come out alive, but, like, you just spent hours getting dirty. Why? Being scared. And guess what else? No one gives a fuck. Yeah. No, no one cares that you do oh, but and then through this. You make yeah. it alive. And guess what? That's probably all you talk about. You're like, oh, you want to see the I did the nutty buddy. And then it's like the they worst. watch this video, they don't understand what the fuck you're talking about anyway, weirdo. They'll be like, okay, sounds cool. Yeah, if it's not something that thing- happened like a hundred years ago or more. I'd be like, you know what? A lot of men died, you know, to be the first doing a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Whether they did smart things to get there or or not so smart, it, still they were brave and they were intrepid and they were pioneers in their time. But 2009 is embarrassing, honestly. Like that's embarrassing. embarrassing. And I would understand if there was a restaurant down there, or if there was, <laughs> you know, like. Uh, 
the only one of the only places I've been outside the country is uh it's called the something lagoon it's on the island of capri in italy very cool there's like you kind of swim through a hole but then inside there's like a nice kind of like it is kind of like a cave but it's not it's not like you're crawling through a hole to get there it's like you wait till it's kind of lower tide and you can what is it no problem in in it's uh it's called it's in the uh, it's on the on the island of capri it's It's like a tourist thing you swim through something it's it's beautiful. You swim through uh, like a hole. Mm-hmm. In the, that sounds awful too. Most people go in boats, but I just swam through because I'm a good swimmer, and uh, and it's cool and it's not dangerous. And once you get in, it's a big opening. It's only a little bit maybe claustrophobic just to go in, but now I sound like a huge hypocrite. But it's very different. It's very different. Than- you swam instead of going in the boat. Yeah, because I didn't want to pay some. I knew she was gonna dude- say that. You're like, so I can just swim dollars. I can swim through it. I don't need to have a man in a boat swim me through it. No, thank Chrissy, you. That sounds incredibly dangerous, actually. Something that... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Something that they, like, they go like, no, you have to take a boat here. Or it's a you don't have thing. to. We went on an off hour. Chrissy, again, dangerous. You just <laughs> swam anyway. People do it. <laughs> do they? Where yeah, I sound this? like a hypocrite in Italy. Let me get a visual. Hold on. Yeah, I need to see what you're talking about. Um, Lagoon boat. Wow, this was you're years like, ago. I don't want to pay for the boat. Yes, I'll the Grotta Azura, the Blue Grotto in Capri. That's what I did. And, and I've gone, see? I've gone to like very few places. I'm not like a traveler. I'm not like Lila, who's been to a million countries. Um, this, this is pretty cool. Crazy you, okay, here's through. here's people in here's people in a boat. Yeah, you oh my God. If you're a sucker, you pay someone to take you in a boat. Are you allowed to swim through and go to the restaurant? Uh, there's no restaurant in there. It's just it's just a little cave. I sound like such a hypocrite, Chrissy. You are literally <laughs> a hypocrite. <laughs> but course, you're, not, you're not crawling around drown in belly grotto panic. Student dies at Blue Grotto today. Okay. Well, if you look up Capri at Blue Grotto death, ma'am. Okay. Well, look, I went after five. I missed the boat tour. And yeah, a man takes and you. And then you just dove in. Yes. Are you a good swimmer? Yes. See, I I'm know, not. But, but, so. but this is a cave. Yeah. And then and, you told there was a restaurant at the end. There, there were, there were no, there's no restaurant in there. Okay. It's just a cave. <laughs> it's just a cave. It was happy hour. And I swam through the hole. And yeah, there are it, there are waves going through there. And you have to be careful. And then you're in there for a little bit. And then you swim right out. I was not there for hours, you know, getting dirty, like some sort of nutty putty man okay it's yes it, it's definitely different but you did you went i know better than these men in these gondolas <laughs> i'm gonna just i don't want to pay for the and gondola you know what man. she did yeah. she did know better than the men in the gondolas she, she made did. it she's here to it. tell the tale cool it is these pictures do not do it justice it's beautiful inside it's like illuminated it's uh it's really gorgeous this is beautiful were you by yourself uh no, I was with an ex boyfriend who was too much of okay. a put. Also, swim through there. If wh- so, you were by yourself. So yeah, so. and he let you go by yourself. Yeah, he was like, yeah, go on. There's this is boat. much better than than going into like a a, a rock. Uh, yeah, here own. it is. Here it is. I don't know why the person's laying in a boat. Oh right, because it's uh it's uh you have to duck down to get in. And oh look, God, you're inside. Chrissy. And then once you're inside, it's real big and it's beautiful. Pause, pause, Chrissy. You fucking, okay, you waited till they were, you, you started out saying there was a restaurant at the end. Oh, no, I said okay. it's not like there was a restaurant. Okay, there's somebody not the a chat, restaurant. Somebody in the chat said maybe there was a restaurant, like referring okay. to the cave diver. So there's you no restaurant in here. No. You did not want to get in one of these boats and pay for it. No, so you, I you did just not. Waited How and much you was did, it? You dove I don't, into this I cave. Don't know. I you don't dove know. into this cave on your own. Yeah, you're crazy. Even this is. I wild, it was a little. But... 
Because I had no clue like how deep it was in there. I just heard it was a, a cool, it's like a destination. So yeah, you could have gotten good. sucked Let's go. in. Yeah. Wow. Just hop right in. That's hilarious, yeah. Chrissy. You're so funny. <laughs> I'm making fun I of the cave guy. I know. But it's different because it's water. Yeah. Well, you can't get wedged in between, you know, a rock look, and a rock. Yeah. yeah, look, see, and that's, it's a little bit low there, like coming in and out. Yeah, maybe they are just trying to take money from you and people should just swim around in there, but you never know. They should. Look at these stupid Asians with their tiny cameras. They got suckered in. Guess look at these all losers. Look at these They're idiots. Like, no. They could have just swam in. You waited till he had the cloak of night <laughs> to dive into oh, us waited, by yourself. Like clock or something. Look at those. Wee. We just spent Wee. probably $100 or more. Hey. I idiots. <laughs> I don't know. Floating around in the boat looks like fun to me, personally. <laughs> yeah, these idiots. Look at them. Stupid Look idiots. at them in there in their comfort. In, by myself. in their comfort and safety of their boats. My God. But there's a real difference between that and uh, this, where there's uh, big no difference. End in yeah. sight. Okay, this is like a real commitment. Whereas, like. This is yeah. mental illness, and this is, is. selfishness, and ho it's horrible. You did something slightly irresponsible, but slightly you didn't have a, you know, children or anything at the time. But it, I, it I like know, the, I know the sea. Okay, I know, I know. I'm seaworthy. I have sea legs. I'm a great swimmer too, but I would never dive into like a. Um, uh, like something that like they tell you you should take a boat into. You know, I'm very afraid of rip tides. Yeah, I won't swim where they tell you not to swim. I can like swim yeah. well enough to not drown. So I'm going to be very judgmental and go. You yeah. should not have done it. At oh, least okay. we will all never go into a rock. You no, know? Yeah. no, God no. Because no. again, so the knows. best case scenario of that is slithering around in a crevice. Like that's the best case, best case yeah. scenario, and then you make it out, and, and no one will care. No yeah. one will care. And then you get to be obnoxious it. about it. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Kiki, but your own mother is a nutty putty apologist here, saying that near death makes you feel alive. Yeah, because you know, want to know what she does? She's like, I'll just. She's a. She's not a great swimmer. I'm a great swimmer. My lane's a little bit shorter. She's like, well, I'll just float on my back. If um, I'm drowning, or <laughs> so she does safety swim, like what they teach to two year olds. She she literally just floats on her back. If she, I'm like mom, but it doesn't matter. You go trouble. out to sea. Yeah, she near death makes you feel alive. So they, have either of you had like an actual near death experience? Two car accidents. Uh, I got ran under by a car. I thought I was gonna die. I did. I um, ran on my under. Moped, yeah, I got on my Vespa. I got uh, I got hit by a car, what? and I looked at the car. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was fourteen, and I and I thought, okay, I'm dead. And then it hit me. I went over it, and I was completely fine. I broke my face, no bones, but uh, I did think I'm like, oh, th all right, I'm dead. This is gonna kill me. But that's mm -hmm. insane. That yeah, I don't think. Look I at need Jay. To do you have another topic ready? Or is it just going to be you and Kiana talking about a big hole? Kiana. Wow. First of all, it's not Kiana. It's it's Kiana. It's Kianu. Yeah, Wait, Jay. And just for that, <laughs> Jay, yeah, we're going to yeah. go back to it. Yeah, okay? we are. How dare you? Huh, it's the last wow. day of Pride Month. If not now, then when? Yeah. You know? You know uh, what, Jay? You should go and do this. Yeah. 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 Okay, you look. should go. But Why don't you try and slide through there, Jay? Well. This is what well, he, he did. He this his when... stomach and pressed himself through oh, the squeeze. God. How does this look appealing? Why? He would be moving head first in a downward angle Why? Now, but it looked like there was an area ahead to turn around. Oh, I would never it, but in no one my else life. Ever over this, this is the before. uncharted hole he was in down here. Uncharted territory. For what? Despite being Chrissy, you just like dove into like position. a little place and it was like cute and like, okay, maybe this cute, is a little it's, sassy. It's a huge yeah. tourist attraction. Tons of people are in there. I'm sure other people have swam yeah. through the hole. Somebody would save you. This is mental illness. That's insane. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely Everything not. is butthole colored. John kept his cool. 
He kept he was his cool. That there would be yeah, an right. Ahead. All along, he thought he was in some part of the birth canal uh, where many cavers had felt stuck. He kept in the his cool because he was tunnel, fucking delusional. But ended up being just fine once they reached the other what? side. What? Once he passed through a tight zone, he started to slide toward the bottom of this uh, tunnel. He was nearly doing a handstand, trying to hold his body up and figure out how to push backwards. And this is not even the worst. He still couldn't yet. turn. And now he was upside down. So how would he have gotten out? He's basically in a handstand at that point. He's he's fucked. Like there's nowhere to turn around. You'd have to push yourself up backwards up the hole. It's like that would have been impossible too. But at least you could have been rescued out of that situation. He should have stayed yeah. there. Gravity oh was pulling his two hundred pound body against the fading strength of his arms. He yelled out to his brother Josh and told him not to follow him, but to go back out. You gonna, they discussed his options his brother. and decided that moving that. forward to try to turn around a glimpse of a hole in the How do you even convince another he's, human he's, to do this with you? He like, sees this and goes, this looks like a good idea. Yeah, I'll yeah. do it. I'm smart. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go into this. Space. Probably low oxygen a little more hopeful in that little cave, you know? Thinking that they and would you're be in complete hypoxia. Darkness. Like, dinner. He made the slight turn and headed towards the hole. Ugh. Exactly how he got himself into this tunnel hole is unknown. It thought that he may have slipped, hit his head, and became wedged in the tight space. The other thought was oh, that he Jesus. looked in the hole, but misjudged what he saw. Doesn't Thinking Josh it was an know? Opening, not simply a dead end fish. That seems uh, Either way, really stupid. John had ended up in a small yeah. opening in the bottom of this tunnel, which was impossibly narrow. Just mm. 18 inches by 10 inches, not much bigger than the screen of a laptop computer. John found himself wedged nearly completely upside down at a 70 degree angle. Oh. He had spent some time trying to push himself back upwards out of this hole. It was exhausting. His oh arms were pinned in a God. useless position, one folded under his chest and the other trapped on a rock down by his side. Uh. He strained against the walls and quickly realized that all of his effort would not move him back up five feet to the shallow tunnel. His calves and feet were still free up in the passage. Isn't this but his horrible? Legs were now wedged on the this is the worst the thing I've ever only seen. Only eight inches wide. <laughs> he started yelling for Josh again. And he went the, feet first. And now time. someone comes to get him. The sound of John's voice. For some reason, like, ledge. hey, I'm stuck. Uh, I would be crawling in the opposite direction, far, far away, and I would never go back again. But these he finally came to an alarm. Like, site. oh, I'm gonna go feet. He could first see the down. end of his brother's legs. Well, because they're all the crazy. Rock. Because it's his brother. He's like, I got this is mental oh. illness to go and to dive into the earth like this is just so stupid. Okay. God gave us an earth with a flat surface. Okay. He didn't intend for us to go into the rocks. God right? gave us a big, beautiful flat earth for us to <laughs> explore the top of, not go in. We true. don't need to go into the rocks. Okay. <laughs> We don't need, and you know what else? I, I fucking hate people that go try and go to space. I think that's I the worst. That's also fake and bullshit. I don't believe that. I don't think space is. I, real. I, I think that, that w w w what's a worse death? Dying in 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 one of the rocks on the Earth Oof. because you're an idiot, or just floating around until you die. <laughs> and look, so this person, I guess the brother, came in like this and tried to. Pull him up with his feet. Try to grab him by the feet and pull him up. Guess what? That didn't work. Yeah, great idea. Is this the one where they almost got him out and then they dropped him? They were going to uh, break his legs, I they guess. They thought about it. And then this person, ugh. No, he there's left. one where they almost got him out and then they dropped him and he got more stuck. This is yeah. this guy or not. And they talk yeah. about what happened to the organs. Ugh. And this is everybody trying to save him, being like, what the fuck? They... They set a system of pulleys. Because he started swelling, too. Yeah. Also, if you just look at the graph there, he looks like an idiot. <laughs> like this? <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. And then all the people are trying to save him. He's just like, they're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Ugh. That's horrible. Like, I don't Ooh. love my wife. I was, I was trying to do something fun before Thanksgiving. This is just such a horrific thing to do to your family. And yeah. uh, they'll be. Oh, yeah. Is that his photo with his wife? God. They tried to. Asshole. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and they had they ran a radio down so that like the wife could basically like say goodbye and the whole time she was like, You can do it, you can get out. Oh, it's so Crazy. sad. You're kidding me. He was alive even then they, they like put him they're like, Yeah, you he's like, oh, I think I'm gonna get out. This is horrible. I don't know why I'm la- I'm just like I'm laughing at how fucking stupid this is. It's insane. Look at him. He does look like <laughs> I made him I out of a hole. <laughs> I I don't know. My dick's not big enough and I'm not happy with my life, so I went down into a rock. And now look at me. I hate David him. Spade. David Spade made fun of me 30 years ago, so I had to go into a rock. David Spade said I was a falling star. So now I went down into this rock. And now this you've exactly now you've ruined everyone's Thanksgiving for all of time. Yes, you've ruined not only your children and your wife's wife's life. Your poor brother had to come down there and try and save you and couldn't. And couldn't. Yeah. And he's like just sitting there. God, fuck this guy. Ugh. Sorry. I uh Okay. This Ooh. was a really fun conversation, I think. Sorry, I well now people go, oh, these have porn stars on. Well, now we're mixing it up. We're talking about diving dying in a rock. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right, love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even- Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.